Alrighty, today we're going to do the Siri rebuild, and you're probably wondering, what's a Siri rebuild? Like, what do you mean a Siri rebuild? Well, every single round of a fantasy draft, I'm going to ask Siri to give me a random number, 1 through 20. And that number that comes up is going to be the player that we choose. So say we're looking at all players, and it gives me a random number 3. We're going to scroll down to the third player, and we're going to select that player. We're going to do, I think, 15 rounds, maybe 16 rounds. What I'm thinking is... First round, all players. Second round, starting pitcher, reliever, closer. And then we'll just kind of work our way through the positions. And then at the end of that, we'll fill out the starting rotation. And then we'll end it there. So I think that's what, 16 rounds? I think maybe 17. Mass probably off a little bit. But that's that's basically what we're going to do. Every single round, we're going to ask Siri to pick us a player. But I don't have an iPhone. I have Android. So Google's actually going to be doing the drafting for us. So technically, this is the Google rebuild whatever it's a siri rebuild basically i hope you guys enjoyed it if you do hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know what you want to see for future videos other than that guys i hope you guys enjoy the video i'm, I'm kind of excited to see what happens i'm, I'm not too sure what's going to happen but we'll see i'm just going to close my eyes we're going to scroll through a team boom washington nationals it is settings let me show you all right fantasy draft on Force trades off, ignore budgets off, and let's see what we get here. It's looking like we're going to have a later pick. 19, so let's see. Give me a number 1 through 20. Pick number 1 is going to be 15. It should, there we go, 15. So it's 10 to show right away, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Paul Goldschmidt. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. I'm, I'm cool with that. Let's get our second number ready. Give me a number 1 through 20. Number 9. Let's see if it clears up here. Number 9. So, uh, starting pitcher. So, we're going to go starting pitcher. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Carlos Carrasco. That's actually not a bad one either. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with the way this draft's turning out. So, next pick, let's see what we get here. It gives me random number seven. So we're gonna pick the seventh player out of the relievers. So th two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pat Neshek, not, not ideal there at all. That's, uh, that's not a player I want. So next round, we get four. We get four, and that's going to be the closers, so we're going to get Wade Davis. Ooh, we're starting to lose the luck here, because Wade Davis, Pat Neshek, those are bad picks back-to-back. -back. So the next one's going to be a, a catcher. Hopefully we can get a decent catcher. Um, that would be huge, it's like a Narvaez or something. Random number is going to be nine, so it's going to be this one, James McCann. It's... That's, it's not bad. He's had good seasons. He's had bad seasons. So hopefully we'll get him on a good season. Next one we have is number two. That's going to be, I think we already have a first baseman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop to second base and we're going to get Colton Wong. So number two, I'll show you guys just so you guys can see it again. Not a terrible player. Cheap contract as well. So that actually kind of works out in our favor. Next one is going to be number seven that's going to be for what third base number seven for third base so two three four five six seven kyle seager stats aren't bad contract is horrible so not too happy about that one next pick is going to be shortstop and we get number 10 i was kind of hoping we would have gotten something kind of higher for shortstop because i really want a good shortstop and number 10 is going to be Cole Tucker. If we could have gotten number 9, we would have had the glitch. Jorge Polanco. Oof. I mean, Cole Tucker's not bad. He just doesn't have the best hitting stats. So, he does have some good trade value, though. So, we might end up trading him. I don't want to. Um, I want to kind of stick to the main team. But we'll have to see what happens. Next up, we get number 17. And this is going to be for left fielders. So, I'm just going to go the opposite way now. So, this is 10 right here. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Austin Slater. So again, 17. Austin Slater's not bad, but again, there were so many better left fielders available there. Next pick. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Center fielder now. 
what do we get number 20 oh that's that's rough 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 bubba starling oh man our luck really has started to run out this is this is getting a little rough here and then right fielders we are going to have number 13 so it looks like we just it wasn't meant to be for this draft so we got 10 11 12 13 alex dickerson so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish out the starting rotation and we're gonna see how that goes hopefully we can get some like higher numbers now as i say that we get number 14 so i mean 11 12 13 14 brandon woodruff's not bad he's got decent trade value and he's kind of a player that either does really well or really badly hopefully we get a really good brandon woodruff next pick is going to be number 18 wow we are getting absolutely destroyed like just they don't want us to succeed uh, 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 tanner roark oh man not not good at all next is number seven okay i can do that that one that one kind of works for us number seven two three four five six no no and i think we got one more please number one number one for the last starting pitcher is going to be mike minor that one's not bad that one's not bad at all so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the cpu handle the rest of the picks um and actually we'll do a bench bat we'll do a bench bat let's do a bench bat just to kind of um 18 18 so how are we gonna do the bench bat if it's if it works out here we can just do this 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 that's a starting pitcher so um what i'll do is i'll just hold this and scroll and we'll go till 18 on the center fielder so 18 on the center fielder i don't think this is going to be good 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 juan lagaris google you let me down siri whatever you want to call it you let me down so we're going to simulate the rest of the draft let's go take a look at the team because i have a feeling i have a feeling it's going to be ugly really ugly really ugly so what do we got here we got carrasco minor rich hill woodruff and then tanner roark our bullpen's kind of full so i'm going to fix that in a second so let's take a look at our lineup to kind of see what we're working with here offensively it's it's not terrible but it's not great so let me let me get the extra pitchers out of the way and then i'll be back in a sec all right so our team's not good it is not good at all we got carrasco minor hill roark woodruff um erasmo ramirez ty block kirby brady rogers i mean, I mean we got some decent prospects down here that we could end up trading but our team is bad i don't even think we'll I don't even think we'll go 500 this year. This is a really bad team. I mean, look at it. Just yikes. Um, I don't really know what else to say. We got 40,000 catchers. You guys can see the team there. Goldschmidt's kind of like the highlight of the lineup. We got Prince, Barreto, Headley, Kyle Seeger. Um, we got Robert Poisson, who's kind of good. Um, he should have decent trade value, and his hitting stats aren't going to be good enough to be using anytime soon when you look at our outfield it is so bad oh my god jeez if we even come close to being 500 i will i will be so happy <laughs> that's basically all i have to say for that situation it is it's pretty bad the team is is not good at all so this is kind of what we're gonna rock with that's that's basically all i gotta say this is this is the team what i'm thinking is season one since we're not in um the negatives for budget i'm just gonna let the season go and then see what happens if we do good we do good if we do poorly we do poorly we don't even have a lefty um in the bullpen so that's it we're just gonna let the season go and then next year we're gonna make a bunch of trades i'm really negative about this team i might be surprised we might make the playoffs 
who knows but for the most part i think this team is trash it is garbage it is bad but like i said we could we could end up being really good and things might work out in our favor so we'll have to wait and see so like i said season one is going to be no changes and then season two and season three is when we're going to start making trades for agency signings and things like that i will do the draft but i'll show you guys you know the draft as we do that other than that let's see how season one plays out okay so our draft it wasn't terrible it really wasn't when you look at it we got luke shimizu what a name what a name 77 potential we got tommy shim looks pretty short 59 from korea okay uh jose ribe looks decent 72 overall already okay jackson klein 71 overall and then we got Woodrow Jones, 68 overall with seven uh, with 89 potential. And then Brady Newby, 75 overall with 89 potential. I like our draft class. It actually was pretty solid. And we got two players who could potentially help us out pretty quickly. So remember how I said we weren't going to go 500? Well, I was right. I mean, 79 and 83, it's pretty close to 500. But this team, it just can't be good. We had a league leader. Paul Goldschmidt. Okay, makes sense. And Carlos Carrasco. Holy cow. He looks like he tore the league apart. Let's take a look at the standings, see where we sat. We weren't last. Where are we ranked in the majors, though? 27th. We got some good defense. That's pretty good. Um, we were 13 games out in the West. West? The wild card. Okay. Um, let's take a look at our bench really quick. Chase. Chase Headley. Okay. All right. Cole Tucker wasn't terrible. Actually, he's progressing pretty quickly so he might be a player we keep um colton wong was pretty bad um home runs wise it was good rbis were there but it um paul goldschmidt was pretty good uh 31 home runs yeah 82 rbis a little low um probably should have had him in the fourth spot alex dickerson yeah definitely should have had goldschmidt in the fourth spot kyle seager actually pretty solid the contracts i'm really hating it but his year production, pretty good. Juan Lagares, pretty bad. Luckily, he becomes a free agent. James McCann's going to become a free agent as well. Probably going to let him go. Um, just, we could probably get better catchers. Austin Slater's potential's gone down. So, it's looking like another trade. Um, and Bubba Starling in center. Yeah. So, we don't really have anybody. Maybe Corey Ray could potentially take over for center. I don't know, man. We need a lot of changes um, I'm assuming this didn't go too great either. Carlos Carrasco is unreal. Just just, just give him Cy Young. I don't know how he didn't win Cy Young. Those are stupid numbers. Mike Miner wasn't terrible. We'll, we'll see out his contract. Might as well. Um, Rich Hill becomes a free agent after this year. Thank God he's got a $16 million deal. Um, and he didn't pitch terribly. He just wasn't amazing. Tanner Roark, kind of the same situation. He wasn't terrible, but he wasn't amazing. And Brandon Woodruff was the worst of the bunch brad peacock not terrible not terrible um kind of the same as these two um petit or pettit pretty good really good um he's got one more year on the deal i don't want to keep him um i have a feeling he's going to regress luke gregerson was really good as well um he's kind of got a long deal we'll s probably see him maybe one more year um he's actually got really good per nines so he could be decent carter caps okay all right i like that i like that lewis coleman was pretty bad um i think we got a, a bullpen we could okay maybe not we have jordan zimmerman i didn't even realize that oh that contract is terrible oh man um nishak was pretty bad we got to get rid of him after this year bedrosian was okay i normally don't get that with bedrosian i usually get like seven era with a three whip and then wade davis is decreasing we got to trade him yeah we got to trade him we got we just got too many aging players on this team it's not good so head into the offseason we need to make changes for sure like oof it is it's gonna be bad we really need to make some changes so let's see no one retired from our team um exclusive negotiations nobody nobody um no point in bringing any of those guys back they're not going to help the team out um 40 man Lois uh Lois Siga for sure actually probably most of those guys um arbitration I'll give Brad Peacock another year for sure um I don't maybe just the top the top guys 
Um, or maybe maybe not even McCann. What's he want? Actually, we could we could probably do the top and then let the rest walk. And then contracts wise, not Drake. And I, I guess everybody else. So not Drake. I, I don't think Bubba Starling either. And then the rest will get contracts for sure. All right, we're still in the off season going into season two, but we got to get rid of Wade Davis's contract. So we're going to trade for Jose Martinez of the Diamondbacks. He's just a cheap little beast to get. His contract expires at the end of this upcoming season too. So it's kind of a win-win for us. I know this is a lefty I get quite often, but we need a lefty in the bullpen. We're going to go for Andrew Chafin. And there really aren't that many good lefties in the league anyways. So Petit for Pettit for Chafin. Alrighty, Pat Neshek for another lefty, Alex Claudio. There we go. I think we have to sign him to a contract now um, or arbitration. So I'm going to go do that really quick. And I think that's going to be it until we actually get into the start of the season. If I make any more trades or signings. All right. So we made quite a few additions in free agency. So I'm going to show you guys through the roster history rather than trying to like go through each roster position. All right. So what we're looking at, Alec Baum, he was available in the rule five draft had to pick him up um probably won't keep him we'll probably end up being a trade piece same with eric fetty or feedy um both probably going to be trade pieces um we got greg barney b potential player we got edgar alvarado b potential player velasco b potential player mezrasco is going to be our bet our catcher um sadler was available um i think we signed him again um we got parkinson Dude's going to be a beast. I might end up starting him in center field, or, uh, center field this season just so that he can get that center field spot. Um, Orlando Arcia was available. And then I think that was it um, for like new signings. So quite a bit of young players. Um, this is kind of how we're looking to start the season. It's not amazing. I, I definitely want to trade Colton Wong. We have um, some player. I mean, I might even move Arcia to second and see how he does there. He might actually be kind of a little bit of a glitch at second base. Um, the guy I was talking about is going to be in triple A Parkinson. I might call him up and give him the shot at center field right away over Corey Ray. I think that might be the move. And then Corey Ray is our, is our backup outfielder. Get rid of Chris Coglin. Get rid of some of these uh, players that have multi-year deals that we just don't need anymore. Someone like we need to get rid of Zimmerman too. But um, maybe get rid of Colton Wong. Maybe get rid of um headley i think there's another one down here um and just some of these like 590,000 contracts that we don't need for players that we're not going to use um so definitely going to be making some moves with this new squad that we've kind of assembled let's see what we can do i guess i should show you the pitching staff too this is what we're kind of working with um i kind of like it um not really i lied i don't like it i like this that's about it i definitely need to make some moves in the pitching staff all right, we're going to trade two A potential players here. I don't really want to, but um, we're going to get a decent arm in Nate Jones. But the big piece here is a really good starting pitcher who's got a really decent contract in Kyle Hendricks. Um, we're trading away Zimmerman, Baum, and Poisson. Two uh, Baum might have potentially made the squad, but I know he won't. His hitting's just not good enough. All right, um, the Woodruff deal is just not working out. Um, he never really does work out for us, so we're going to trade him. Eric Fetty, who we just got from the Rule 5 draft, and then Jonathan Loisiga, who potentially could have featured, but um, looking at his per nines, I just don't know if he would. We're going to go for Jose Estrella, who I'm going to look as a future trade piece, and then Tuki Toussaint. Um, we're going to give him a shot. I don't think we've ever acquired him in a, in a rebuild before. All right, we're going to trade Franklin Barreto for Michael Franco. We're just getting a better bench bat in Michael Franco. And then his he's got arbitration, so he's going to be kind of cheap. Um, Barreto just doesn't hit the ball well at all. And I'm trying to find a way to get rid of Kyle Seeger's contract. Um, we're going to call up uh, Michael Franco. Probably going to call up Parkinson as well. And then probably move Arcia to second, maybe. Can Colton Wong, can Arcia play third? We might have Arcia play third this year and try to get rid of Seager's deal. And then just maybe try to get one more pitcher and just really strengthen 
um, this this pitching area. All right, I found a deal that I kind of like. Alex Colome, um, he does become a free agent after this year, unfortunately, along with Jose Quintana for Kyle Seager, Arden Paps, and then one of our starters in Ty Block, who I haven't really ever seen do well. You can see he had limited appearances last year, and he did pretty bad. So uh, I think that's the deal we're going to go with. Okay, this is how we're gonna how we're gonna look for the second season. I kind of like the team. Uh, there's some players that if they do well, I think we're gonna be kind of a sneaky team to potentially make the playoffs. Uh, Russell Parkinson's gonna be our new starting center fielder. We got Cole Tucker, Jose R Martinez, Paul Goldschmidt, Michael Franco, Colton Wong, Austin Slater, Caratini, and Carrasco is our pitcher. RC is gonna be kind of a, a platoon third baseman with Franco. Um, Franco's gonna be against lefties. RC versus righties, um, and then you guys can kind of see what our rotations looking like and our bullpen um the one player i'm going to be kind of wary about is gregerson just because of his contract and the fact that he's 35 but other than that i really like the team i think it's looking really good i feel like our pitching is our strong point now and that's usually the opposite where we kind of need to always improve our pitching i feel like we've got a strong pitching staff now we can just focus on the lineup so let's see how season two plays out i'll see you guys at the deadline at the deadline, we got Cole Tucker hitting like a, a solid 230. Um, and I don't think he's going to hit much better. Just his vision's really low. We're going to go for the, the cheat code, Jorge Polanco. He's just too good to pass up. I actually thought about going for Marcus Semien because he had an unreal season last year. Where is he? Did I pass him? Yeah, I did. Here he is. I mean, look at his stats. He hit 35 home runs last year. He's hitting 298 this year. I kind of want to try Marcus Semien instead. Um, and then maybe we can get like a, a reliever or something. Do we need a reliever? Um, I think someone's doing kind of poor. I think it's... We might as well throw him in the deal as well. Because he doesn't really have any trade value. What's Sir Anthony Dominguez doing? Not great. Um, We got to make this... We got to find a deal here. Um... Let's just take out that right fielder. And I mean, Hansel Robles is having a pretty solid season. How's Zach Eflin doing? Pretty good. Um, how is our long reliever doing? I don't think he was doing great. Um, Brad Peacock. Yeah, he's not doing great. So that might that might be a decent deal for us. Um, maybe just take out Robles. We'll give him a shot. We'll give him a shot as well because we have some struggling pitchers here. So this is going to be the deal. Um... I don't think I think we've gotten semi in like once recently and we normally get Jorge Polanco. So let's switch it up. There's our deal. All right. So uh, this is how we're going to look to finish off the year. Um, I mean, it's it's not terrible. I think when I looked at the roster or not the roster, but the standings and everything, we're seven out here, but we're only two out in the wild card. So, like I said, we might be a sneaky little team. So, let's see how the rest of the season plays out. Alrighty, so we had to play a tiebreaker, and luckily we won it. We finished the season 96-67, and 67, taking on the Mets. Um, we had a really good August. And uh, July wasn't terrible. Um, September wasn't terrible either. So, let's see. League leaders, Marcus Semien, Jose Martinez. Jose Martinez had a really good year. I'm glad we picked him up. And Kyle Hendricks was solid on the mound awards silver slugger for jose martinez and a gold glove for victor caratini so we oh we missed out on the east by one game and in the wild card wow we ran away with the wild card so actually no we we played the tiebreaker for the the division Oof! did i say we're 17th wow we are not very highly rated <laughs> that is not good um, but let's take a look at the lineup. Russell Parkinson, potential's gone down. Mo probably should have left him in the minors for a season. Um, I mean, he didn't have a, a terrible year, but it wasn't amazing. Colton Wong, I mean, he's, he's decent home runs and RBIs. Doubles are up as well. We might just let him see out his contract. Jose Martinez was a beast. Didn't get the home runs like last year, but the average and stuff was really high. Paul Goldschmidt's really good. Not even going to consider trading him. Michael Franco, he may not have hit a crazy amount of home runs, but a good average, good on base percentage, OPS. Um, he's definitely our starting third baseman um, over Arcia from now on. Marcus Semien, we are probably going to bring back. He had 47 doubles, 28 home runs. Um, he probably will sit around like $8 million too. It'll be decent. Austin Slater, I mean, those are a good amount of home runs and RBIs as well. Average isn't great, but 
we'll have to work around that arcia is 100 being traded he is terrible and then victor caratini he's got a potential so might as well rock with him and then um on the bench we got brady newbie or, or i guess in the minors who could potentially get called up next year jose Uribe doesn't look terrible either maybe he could take over for headley um newbie could take over for arcia um i think that was it for like players that we could really use within the next couple seasons or actually just next year um carlos carrasco again very solid um, we have him for one more year so he should be good there kyle hendricks was like cy young numbers crazy good numbers quintana was solid as well might bring him back for another year mike minor wasn't terrible tuki tucson was kind of bad um that whip is really high we may have to figure out something to work around that efflin was good cap struggled Robles was good. Chafin was good. Jones was good. Bedrosian. I mean, yeah, really solid. Um, really solid. This is the guy we drafted. We may have to give him maybe like a, a fifth, a six man like rotation or something. No, I'm just kidding. But he might be like a long reliever. So let's go take a look at the Mets. See what their team is like. Um, obviously Carrasco. But um, let's see what they're looking. Actually, I know they had Trey Turner because I was considering trading for Trey Turner. Bragman Hoskins. Um, but, I mean, looking at their team, they're not amazing. Um, but watch that. We're going to get destroyed now that I said that. Um, can we get on base or something? That would be nice. There we go. Marcus Samian brings in a run for us. That's good to see. Gritchick goes deep. Not great. Um, especially since we're kind of struggling to get hits. We only have one. Um, so maybe we could squeeze a couple more hits out. Carrasco getting us the tie. Okay. All righty. Come on. There's a single Michael Franco. I'm glad we picked him up. He, he looks like a little like low key beast to kind of pick up. All right. Carrasco's done. We're going to pinch hit for him. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing. So they show me who they're going to use pinch hit. We're going to bring in, um, We'll save Ray because he's got some speed. Let's go Headley, and he gets on. Parkinson gets hit by a pitch. Pop up, strikeout, Goldschmidt, bases loaded. Come on, Franco. Come on. Ah, oh, man, he got thrown out at home, but he did bring in a run, so I'll take that for sure. Um, a bunch of righties coming up. We're kind of towards the end of the game, so Bedrosian. Come on. All right, uh, lefty. Let's go to Chafin. He gets us out of the inning. Perfect single a strikeout we're gonna pinch hit we're gonna go with the righty let's go mezzarocco bait runners on the corners ah, grounds out so ninth inning we're gonna go to our closer column a and that's the ball game we're going to take on i think it said the marlins the marlins it is the marlins so let's get the rotation just a little little changed um we're gonna go like like that so let's um We'll wait till an elimination game to check out the Marlins lineup, which is right here. So that didn't take too long. <laughs> um, oh boy, we are home in Nationals Park. Mm, Mike Miner, yeah, we'll do it. And then Colton Wong's leading off, so we're facing a righty. So they got Brantley, Swanson, Machado, Meadows, Dietrich. That's a solid team. That's a decent team. Way to start the game off. Home run, really. All right, Daniel Mangden is on the mound. Marcus Semien gets us right into the game. And then Jose Martinez gives us a two-run lead. Okay, now we're down to a one-run lead. And that was Mengden who brought in the second run. Their pitcher, Colton Wong, goes deep. Okay. Jose Martinez is feeling it this game. Oh, man, tie game again. A walk. Okay. Another walk. Caratini. Runner thrown out at home. That's okay. We still got the run in. Then Miner helps himself out. We got that two-run lead back. All right. So that was that was Miner's last inning. Five runs, he's done. Or five innings, he's done. There we go, Goldschmidt. Extend the lead a little bit. All right. So we're going to take him out. We got a lefty. Do we really want to just use a lefty here? Let's go Eflin. See if we can get a couple innings out of him. One run scores. A pop-up. So, I mean, it's still a two-run game, which is okay. Let's just bunt him over okay colton wong semi an error okay there we go jose martinez that's what i'm talking about makes it a three-run game again caratini walks um we'll pinch hit we'll pinch hit we'll go mezzarocco one run scores that's all we needed 
Bases are loaded. Come on, Jose Martinez. I need you here. Dude, he's been unreal. Then Goldschmidt opens up the game. Eight run game. Let's go to Jones. He was actually pretty solid throughout the year. So that was a decent little pickup for us. And we'll see if he can close out the game. He does. All right. Solid. All right. So it comes down to the final game. Unfortunately, not going to let Tuki Toussaint pitch. Um, just don't have faith in him. We're going to go to... We're going to go to Hendricks. They have Jamison Tyone on the mound. So it's going to be a solid, solid matchup. One run scores. Okay, so can we get our run back? Double play. Mm, not the best. A double. Okay. Come on. Get the run in. A leadoff double. We can't score that run. Tony Kemp goes deep. <sighs> Four run game. There's one run back. Okay. I'll take that. One runs back. All right, so it's only a three-run game. Hendricks is probably only going to go five, maybe six. All right, so six. All right, we're going to take him out here. We're going to go Robles. He's playing up. Mm. Double play. That was huge. Oh, man. Sack bunt. Dude, Tony Kemp's feeling it today. Another homer. Five runs. Can we do it? That's the season. Okay. Well, let's see who, who wins the World Series. And then we're, we're actually going to take a look at the World Series winning team. The Mariners defeated the Marlins. So the, the Marlins were probably pretty solid then if they were making it that far. So the Mariners won the World Series. Let's take a look at their team. Can I just stop there? Of course, Cole Tucker's on the team. But they got Bellinger, Jack Peter. They got power. Holy cow, they got power. Um... They, they, they've got some power for sure. And then looking at their pitching staff, it's not amazing. Um, How did they win? That pitching staff is atrocious. Two players that we traded away one World Series. Oh, man. That's crazy. So let's get into this offseason. Let's see what we can do to kind of help out the squad. Change it up a little bit. As I hit my mic per usual. Um, Kalame, we got to bring him back. He's just too good. So let's do, I wonder if he'll sign like a one-year deal. Actually, you know what? We'll give him a three-year deal. There's no point in not doing it. Um, Quintana, I'll probably just do a one-year deal for 8 million. Mike Miner will let walk because his ERA has been kind of creeping up. Carter Caps, he struggled this year. But... We'll do we'll do a small deal if he's like cool with like four million. I doubt he will, but Chafin Chafin was good. Let's do a one year deal for him because he's well. We'll do two years and we could probably bump it down to eight. And then Marcus Samian was a player I definitely want to bring back. And like I said, he probably wants around eight, seven and a half. We'll do that. And then Brad Peacock struggled. Devin Mizoraco is our backup, so. That's fine. And then we'll let the rest walk. So those are those are our negotiations to start. 40 man. We might throw a couple on there. Arbitration wise. You know what? We'll probably bring back Robles and see how it goes. And then do we bring back? I think we got to get. We got to. He's been so good for us. He was clutch for us. Tuki Toussaint's going to get a contract. Everybody's going to get a contract as well. All right, it's the make or break season, season three of this Siri rebuild. And let's take a look at the offseason that we had. So, um, this is about it. JJ Blade was available in the Rule 5 draft, and that's basically all I wanted. Um, there were really no good free agents or anything like that. We have a decent budget to work with. So, when you look at the lineup currently... I think we may need a center fielder between Russell Parkinson, who in theory would be a really good player for the future. You know, I just feel like we need someone to help us out right now. Austin Slater had a decent year last year. The average isn't great, but the home runs and RBIs are there. I'm going to give him one more year. Um, Victor Caratini isn't terrible either. Um, my biggest question mark is going to be Colton Wong and then our pitching. I feel like offensively, we're not too bad. Uh, RC is going to be traded 100%. We're going to let uh, Brady Newby step in. I even might let Newby start. And then maybe even like try to get a really good center fielder to help us out. And then just kind of find some more power in the lineup. So yeah, maybe get someone who hits a little bit more power in center field. And I guess maybe even 
go back on what I said and get a, a decent little left fielder. We do need a fifth man to start in the rotation and a long reliever. So they definitely need to make some moves. Let's make that happen. Alrighty, so Ar Arcia, JJ Blade, and Edgar Alvarado are going to make way for a pitcher. I don't think we've ever used before an Adrian Morejon. Had a decent year last year. He got better from the year prior to that as well. And I only assume he's going to get even better. Um, so there's our new starting pitcher. Alrighty, I did say I was looking for someone with a little bit more power. We're going to get Max Muncy um, as well as Caleb Ferguson from the Dodgers. Kind of funny that they actually play for the Dodgers in real life. For Colton Wong, I, I did say I was going to give him one more shot, but... You know what? We're, we're adding some power to the lineup as well as um, Joey or Jose Estrella is making way and Nate Jones, who I think is just going to be an aging pitcher that's going to struggle. So now when we look at the team, we added an extra lefty. Um, I'm not really sold on Chris Flexen being there. Um, we do have a couple other players who potentially could. Oh, yeah. Zach Eflin 100% needs to be that long relief spot. And then when we get the lineup set up, Max Muncy's going to hop right there. And uh, we, we should actually be pretty pretty solid. We might even be able to call another player up. But, man, uh, I like the team. Yeah, we, we are going to have another um, available arm to put. or We have another available arm. So that's going to be uh, Eflin. And then we need another like bat. And I don't really know where to get it from. I guess we could use Uribe. Give him a shot. Give another one of our, our draft picks a shot. So I think I think that's it. I know I said I wanted to use newbie, but he doesn't he doesn't really fit the team. And besides maybe left field, I feel like we have a pretty strong team, maybe center field too. But overall, we got a lot of power here. Semyon's been hitting bombs. Martinez hits a decent amount of home runs um, for someone who really doesn't have that much power. Um, he's And he hits really good average. Goldschmidt, Muncy, Franco now. I like the team. The pitching's really strong uh, for the most part. So let's have this, let's see how this season plays out. I'll see you guys at the deadline. Alrighty, so at the deadline for the last season, I was looking kind of at the lineup and I was kind of looking at how everybody was doing and stuff. And I mean, we, I decided to put Uribe in left field because I noticed that he did have left field available. And I feel I just had this weird hunch that I just, I just can't trust Slater. And you can see in his limited appearances this year, he's hitting a cool 9-198. So it hasn't been good. Um, and then Arebe has actually been really solid. So it's been pretty good. Everybody actually is hitting the ball quite well. Um, and I want to get Newby involved. And I know he's a second baseman. And I know it says he can only play third. But I want to move him to center. And I normally don't do this, but... Our center fielders have been atrocious, and I feel like moving him to center field might solve our issues, you know? So, that way we have someone who actually can hit the ball playing center field for us, and we should be able to, like, maybe solve that issue. Um, so, I normally don't change positions like that. Um, our pitching's actually been kind of horrendous this year. Um, we may have to make some moves just to cut, kind of solidify, um, that because it's a little, it's a little wonky. So, but I normally don't change positions like that, but I want to get one of our draft picks involved and that was one way to do it. So I'm actually going to trade Alex Claudio, um, and see if we can get another bullpen arm. All right, we're going for Trevor blows them all. Um, I looked at other players that were available. John Brebbia was one that I considered, um, Jordan Hicks is another one we could go for, but he's having a little bit of a tough year this year. Um, we haven't gone for Chris Davinsky in a while. He's not having a terrible year either, but let's go for Trevor Blows them all. I have a feeling we're, we're due for a good year with him. Um, we're going to be trading Ryan Bollinger, Taylor Widener, and Alex Claudia. So he's just going to slot right into the uh, starting rotation or the, the bullpen, and he might actually... I feel like he'd be a good. We'll give him. We'll give him a shot. We'll give him a shot as a closer. As you guys can see, as a whole, the bullpen's been a little iffy. Even the starting rotation's a little iffy. But let's see how the rest of the season plays out. Alrighty, here we go. We won a hundred games. We actually won more than that. hundred and two and sixty. Won the division, taking on the wild card winner. Um, and let's take a look at the league leaders. Goldschmidt. Jose Martinez, Max Muncy. So, I mean, Jose Martinez is just... 
high average guy. Um, Silver Slugger for him. Max Muncy was MVP. Brady Newby was Rookie of the Year. Hank Aaron for Muncy. And then a Cy Young for Carlos Carrasco. We had a good year. Okay. So Carlos Carrasco won Rookie... Or not Rookie of the Year. Cy Young with a... Okay. The Cy Young in this game is so broken. He didn't win Cy Young either of these years from what I remember. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look just to kind of see. Uh, yeah, he didn't win Cy Young either of these years um, that he had a 2.95 or a 2.65 ERA, a whip with 1.12 or 96. But he did, I don't get it. It's his worst of his three years and he still won uh, Cy Young. Kyle Hendricks, respectable. Um, not as good as previous seasons, but still a very good ERA, very good whip. Um, Jose Quintana, I'm not going to complain about that. Tuki Toussaint, Adrian Morihon, a little disappointed, a little disappointed, but I, I think we'll be able to work around it. Who did they send down? Chafin, were you doing poorly? Very much so. Okay, uh, Carter Caps, Hansel Robles, Cam Bedrosian, Ferguson, Kalame, oh my. A little bit of a struggle going on here, it appears. Uh, how did Eflin do? Not bad. Do we have anybody down here that we could, like, trust? Not really. Um, yeah, I'd, I mean, we could try Chafin again just to have another lefty, but he's struggling. So let's take a look at our bench. Parkinson finished with 237 average. Mezzarocco was all right. They brought up Jonathan Mendoza. I feel like we had better players that we could call up besides Jonathan Mendoza, like Jacob Wilson. Looks like he'd be a decent little bench bat for us. Or Humberto Artiega. We brought up Jonathan Mendoza. Interesting. Corey Ray wasn't terrible. He actually hit 14 home runs, so that's pretty good for him. Um, let's take a look at our team. Jose Ribe in his rookie year. That's a good year. I like that. Solid. Um, Semyon, I mean, he was a good pickup. He's not expensive either. I like, I like that pickup. Jose Martinez has been amazing since we got him. He hit 32 home runs, 99 RBIs. Oof. Paul Goldschmidt's doing Paul Goldschmidt things, having 49 home runs. Oh, man. Okay, Max Muncy was MVP with those numbers. Okay, 33 doubles too. Michael Franco hit 31 home runs. So our offense was clicking. Austin Slater sucked. I was kind of hoping he would have done a little bit better. But uh, the rookie of the year, Brady Newby, has got eight potential now. Okay, 19 home runs, 21 doubles. 300 average i'm glad we made the choice to move him to center field we probably should have played him a little bit more um now that i look at it and then victor caratini has been actually pretty solid for us as a catcher average isn't there but i mean decent like run production numbers and doubles as well so i like it i mean the team looks pretty solid let's see who we're gonna take on the marlins we lose we win we lose so we're gonna get knocked out as per usual you just gotta love the uh this rng in this um we had the best record in baseball by six wins and then we are eighth ranked all right so we need to play this game so that we don't you know get eliminated or we do get eliminated and we cry um we are gonna go with carlos carrasco they have jameson tyone we faced them before we just we gotta win that's a good way to start the game um, I'll swing. Max Muncy, two-run bomb. There we go. Um, looking at their lineup, they've added David Dahl, Omar Nervaez. Okay. They've, uh, they've got a strong squad for sure. Definitely got some power. Definitely got some offensive ability. Um, let's get out of that. There you go, Carlos Carrasco. Paul Goldschmidt strikes. Gets us that three-run lead back. Can we get some runs in here? Semyon doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Double play gets us out of the inning. First and second, no outs. Come on. We got a score here. Really? Eric Fede, former national. So we, we had him on our team and we traded him right away. Um, first and second, one out. Come on, newbie. Caratini, nothing. All right, Carlos Carrasco is pitching well, even though he's allowed the same amount of hits as we have. Um, but we do have that three-run lead. Just to be safe, we're going to go to our setup man, Bedrosian. Gets us out of the inning. Right hand comes in for the Marlins. 
and then pitching change oh wow um you know what we'll do it there we go we win perfect that's that was that was big for us we need to win this game now oh i don't want to play it come on this is the season i can feel it we are going to go to kyle Hendricks, or do we go mori hone We'll go Hendrix. We'll go Hendrix. First and second, Max Muncy. Ooh, come on. We gotta we gotta take advantage of runners in scoring position. Dansby Swanson goes deep. So it's still a one run game. We gotta score soon though. That's the thing. Base is loaded. Newbie. Sack fly brings in the run. I'll take that. It's a tie game. At least we're not like trying to come from behind. At least it's tied and we know what we we got to do. Alrighty. That's good. Um, Oh, he's pitching so well. I noticed he was getting a little tired though. So we'll take him out. We're going to go to... We're going to go Corey Ray. First and second, no outs. There we go. Jose Uribe. Bases loaded, no outs now. Runner was thrown out at home, but that's okay. Bases loaded. Franco... All right, that's fine. Um, let's go Caleb Ferguson. Oh, Caleb Ferguson, really? Um, we're going to go Cambridge Drosian here. Whew. All right. And our... Oh, man. This is... Uh, we're going to go Column A. And there we go. We're taking on the Padres. Uh, that's a new team for us to take on in the postseason. Um, I have a feeling we need to move. We'll do that. We'll do that and uh, see how it goes. Game one, we lose. Oh, we got destroyed. Oh, man. We're facing elimination already. Holy cow. The Padres must be nuts. Like, we we like we like just got smacked. Um, all right. So, Malik Smith, Rizzo, Seager, Piscotti, Travis Shaw, Manny Pena. Is that Aramis Garcia in left? And Jerks and Profar. Not a team I would expect to just get absolutely dominated by, but we have been. Steven Piscotti actually is low-key a bit of a glitch in franchise. He may not be the flashiest of like players to have in your team as Michael Franco goes deep. But for a right fielder, he's actually pretty good, especially for a sim style franchise. We'll look at his stats after this because like he's kind of nutty. Um he had one season. I was actually looking to trade for him because I was thinking about getting a new right fielder. And uh, Kyle Hendricks is pitching a gem right now. Can we get him an insurance run? That's game. He just had a... No he was one hit away and two walks from a perfect game. Um, but let's go take a look at Steven Piscotti before I forget. Because he had a season where... Like, you can see... Like, he is nuts. Look at those stats. Like, you see what he's put up in this franchise... Those are stupid numbers. Like, he is crazy good. Um, Corey Seager is always a glitch. Like, they've actually got a decent little team, um, the more I think about it, especially for a, a Sim-style franchise. They actually have, like, those glitchy players that do really well. Um, we're going to go... Oh, man. They're going to have Strowman tomorrow. But are we going to get to tomorrow? That's the thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, think about... So to ensure that we get tomorrow, we're going to go with Carlos Carrasco and hope he has a good outing. Jose Martinez gives us that two-run lead. Max Muncy makes it a three-run lead. That was huge. A double, okay. Runners on the corners. Ah, couldn't get another run in, but that's all right. We still got that three-run lead. Their starter's almost out. Double play, that's huge. All right. Come on. One run scores. Okay, just one run. That's fine. A double. Can we get one in? We can't. Can he give us one more inning? Perfect. We still have that two-run lead. I should have taken him out. Yeah, he's done. Um, they're gonna do a pinch hitter. So let's go. Let's go, Robles. There we go. That was huge. Come on. Let's get another run in. Bases loaded for newbie. Can you give us a sack fly? Double play. Really? Uh, let's pinch hit. Let's go to Ray. 
He gets on. Perfect. Rebe. Semien. All right. Ninth inning. Trevor blows them all. Doesn't blow it. We're coming back. This is the season. I'm feeling it. Um, quick manage. Boom. We are home. We're going to go Quintana versus Strowman. Can we do this? Runners on the corners. One run does score. But we get it right back. Perfect. Come on. Two run bomb. Speaking of Steven Piscotti. Oh. Runner was thrown out. That sucks. I don't know if Quintana is going to give us five. Um, Come on. Oh, he's, he has actually got a little bit more stamina than I thought. Two runs scored. Man, this is getting a little bit out of hand now. Five to one. That was his last inning. Yeah, it's his last inning. Let's go to Eflin. There we go. All right, we're down four. I feel like we just got to go to whoever we can use to, to get us. There we go. Corey Ray brings us within three. That was it. That was a huge. Oh, Miggy Rojas goes deep. Max Muncy gets those two runs. We're within three. Oh, man, this is. This is our make or break, you know, like, I mean, we have one more inning, but, um, who do we go with here? Come on, Slater. I've never hated anybody more in a sim style franchise than I do Austin Slater right now. Ah, uh, that sucks. Overall, though, I mean, it looks like we got a little gem in Jose Arribe. Marcus Semien's probably got another year or two before he starts to fall off. Um, this is probably his last year. He struggled in the postseason. Um, Goldschmidt struggled a little bit in the postseason, too. That sucks. Um, but he's still a beast, you know? Like, Max Muncy's still going to be good. Michael Franco struggled in the postseason, even though he had an amazing year. He's going to continue to do well for the next couple seasons. I don't ever want to see this guy on my team in a franchise again. Newbie struggled in the postseason as well, and Caratini was all right. So overall, I feel like we're in a good spot going forward, but it just didn't pan out uh, for us this postseason, unfortunately. Um, we had a really strong bullpen for the majority of this rebuild. And unfortunately, it kind of let us down during the postseason as per usual. I want to see where the Padres are. Second ranked team, really. I guess. Overall, I feel like this is a pretty solid team. We have a little bit of money to like go like to work with going forward as well. Especially with a couple aging players, contracts running out. Quintana, Carter Caps, I probably wouldn't bring back. And you could bring back Muncy, you could let Mezzarocco go, bring back Franco, let Headley go. There's a lot of moves you can make, and you'd be in a really good spot with this team going forward. So, that's going to wrap up this series rebuild. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And in the comment section, let me know what you would like to see in the future. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.